It was. I, I had to. You realize how hard I had to work to make this happen? So what? hard. Oh. Hard. I, I moved out of my dorm at college, which there's, if, if you're of the age of 22 plus or more, you just happen to stumble into this video and you just happen to be going to college, don't live in a fucking dorm. Like, you might think it's fun, you might think it's a good idea, like you're gonna slam puss and you're gonna be you're wasted. Gonna slam puss. And, and Never heard of it like that. The, the college experience is supposed to fulfill for, it's not, you're just gonna be a lonely existence. And everywhere you go, you're gonna be the old weird guy. So <laughs> you're not even that much older either. Just don't be. But you you change so much between 18 and 22. Oh fuck, dude! If you talk to me you at know? 18, and now oh. <laughs> if I could go back to my 18 year old self, I wouldn't even say a word. I just kick my own ass. Also, 80 pounds fatter. So there you go. <laughs> uh, also, lots of obesity. Dude. So glad. I that was the one thing that changed my fucking life, is losing all my fucking weight. Yeah, well, I hope dying changed your fucking life, because you're dead. Because <laughs> you're gonna die! <laughs> fucking gonna die. dead. And now there's things everywhere. Where are you dead at? I'm not dead, I got up. Oh, I'm gonna die again. Don't, don't die. Hey, I'm talking about emotional problems. Fucking Flint's still alive. He came back to life. He is? Yeah, he's he's shooting at me. That's what kept me fucking. Flint takes it to eleven. He does. Oh my god, me and this shotgun were meant to be together forever. Forever and ever. So great. You guys do a playthrough together, but you don't even stay in the same area. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> don't worry about it. You only seen one perspective of the game. Don't fucking worry about it. I I literally hope your Skype call just doesn't record. No, it's recording. As like, it would be such as life that, that we would just get everything come up set up. I lose it all. Anyway, I was talking about how uh, I I'm, I worked so hard to make this happen. Yeah. I, I moved out of my dorm, okay. Mhm. Mm and then for the first time ever, and I I don't I, this is me being this is not me being modest. Like this is the first time ever in my life I got lucky. I literally got really, 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 really lucky. You got anal? Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> performed on me, actually. Oh, well, that's what every guy wants. <laughs> this is a weird situation. My my girlfriend now is best friends with my ex-girlfriend. Figure that out. Figure that out for yourself. Right here. I, ha I have some store. I have some thoughts in my head, but <laughs> you know, and just stick with it because it's probably more interesting than what mine is because it, they're just friends and that's that. But my 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 girlfriend's best friend is my ex girlfriend, and my, my ex girlfriend is like the only good breakup I've ever had in my life. Where like, everything where was mutual. Yeah, it was just like we don't have time for each other, you know. Yeah. <laughs> It's just too much effort Even to meet. Even at like night at nineteen twenty, you're like, oh, we don't we don't have time for each other. Actually, we're you know, two different people. We can't do this, you and I. So she she has a really my ex girlfriend has a really good job. Like she you know she works as like a medical assistant or something, and you know makes pretty good money. And ever since she turned eighteen, she's been living in this like really decent apartment for her age. You know that's got utilities included. It's a nice price. Yeah. Uh, and so, like I was talking about a couple of those videos that I made, that you know, shit was just shitty for me. Like it was just as shitty as shitty could get, and I didn't want to talk about it. Yeah. I still really don't want to talk about it, but it was just shitty, and we'll keep it at that. So I needed to find some place to live, and I needed to get out of that dorm. And so we talked to her, and she just happened to find this really rich guy that she fell in love with and ran away with. Hmm. And by I mean, moved two blocks down from her apartment, but that's pretty much running away. So she's with this guy. He's got more money than God. They don't need anything. She goes, well, I need somebody to take my lease. And I'm like, uh, I'll take it. I'll take, I'll take your lease. She leaves me everything. And when I mean everything, everything. Like, I, I had my own place a couple times before, but I moved back into my parents so many goddamn times that I'd sold it all. Yeah. So I didn't have a bed. I didn't have any of that shit. Shit. she oh. left me everything we well my girlfriend and i like uh, my girlfriend actually started moving everything in and i was still at school and she's like there's two tvs in here and i was like okay she probably left the shitty crt tvs in here no <laughs> there's two 40 inch flat 
flat screens in this homeboy. You and I walked through the door and I was like, fuck me. Just, that's awesome. <laughs> she left me her, she bought a brand new car. So she gave me her not so brand new car, which I was gladly to accept to drive back and forth to school, to school with. So I fucking lucked out. I Jeez. totally lucked out. And it was, a, it was a very perverse and crazy chain of events that led to this epic let's play here mm -hmm. with, together and and of course your supreme act of generosity by providing me with this game oh well, that was no problem my new Atilders needed a borderlands because he was depressed about the black ops because i can't stand that game needed needed was i don't it was destiny it wasn't even needed it was destiny I just, I, I want Gearbox to continue putting out DLC, so once I've sunk like 160 hours in this, I don't feel like it was for nothing. Oh, there's plenty of fucking DLC for us to go through. How much have they put out so far? Three, three pieces of DLC, I think. The newest one came out last month. That is, I mean, they, they really just need to go to the next step and just make this an MMO. They thought about it for a while. That, well, that's what they did with Skyrim. They made Skyrim online. Or yeah. Oblivion or online. Or Elder Scrolls online. That's what it's called. Elder Scrolls online. That's all right, man. I, I enjoyed having a life to a certain degree. This, yeah. This not being a full-fledged MMO keeps me from reverting back to my old ways. <laughs> you know, where the time I stopped playing was when the Duke pants piled up so high I couldn't see what was in front of me. Couldn't see the you TV know, the anymore. Just, the monitors disappeared for the Duke hands. I can't play that. Oh god, I I work too much for that. I I'm a workaholic. I I need another job. I need two jobs. It's it's all right. It depends on where you work though, because like I work as a bartender and also I work for a dealership. So. I I know all about the bar scene, sir. I know all all too well about the bar scene. Don't drink. Don't drink and work in a bar. I forgot about this sultry beverage of mango water in front of me and my snowman glass. <laughs> I bought the wrong shield just now. There's some shields over here. Uh, I don't fucking want your shield. Oh man, my phone's dying. I'm gonna plug it in. Plug it in. Plug it in quick. It's plugged in. We're good. We're good. All right. Uh, I'm going to hump these vending machines for a second. There's some shields with more capacity, but I really don't want to spend money on them. I'd rather just make you pick me up all the time. So Why? So I hate you. <laughs> this is my Dante's Inferno. Like, <laughs> all right, so what's the... Uh... But not is it Pythagoras or who's the guy who has to constantly push the boulder up the hill and it gets it almost to the top and it falls down. I got a head customization for my siren. Yay! It's the best. I got a new hairdo. Can't wait to put it on. I am so excited. Did I tell you I've been drinking my uh, my craft beer out of a, a little mini boot from fucking Beer Fest? A little mini DOS boot? Yeah, a mini DOS boot. A half one. Awesome. That is awesome. We have two. Lou and I have one. I'm, have I ever met your roommate? No, you uh, may mm, probably not. Lou, he he does he plays video games every once in a while. He plays a lot of Borderlands. We we'll have to get him I on. Mean, a, we'll have to get him on a Skype call. Oh my god, that would be great. That we be great. we did a couple Borderlands things together. Like we did a little while, a little couple play or like a playthrough like this. I just never uploaded it. Like I have the video like ready and saved, like the template saved and ready. I just gotta save it to my computer and then upload it. Uh, so much work. So much, so much work. It's worth it. You know why it's worth it? Because I watch my own videos. That's why it's worth it. <laughs> I, wa like, I watch them once when I edit them just to listen for anything and that's You know, most people say that, they're like, you know, I watch it once, make sure it's good and your quality assurance. I watch it like, 20 times. <laughs> You're 20 of the views? I don't fucking like it, you know, if, if, if I could give myself more than one view, my, I would be a millionaire. Uh, uh, cause, I don't know. Was it F, it's F4, like, F5 I, I, <laughs> to refresh? I fooled myself into thinking that that guy isn't me, and I was like, I can really relate to this guy. <laughs> this guy's alright, dude, he's got some stuff figured out. <laughs> I'm going through about the same things right now. <laughs> 
I listen to my videos and I'm like, I don't. This guy is fucking. I don't like this guy. He's depressing and he's got. He's fucked up. So that's you know. I don't get that vibe. I really don't. You don't give me that vibe. Because I come off as confident. I hide beneath the lies and sadness. Not so much confidence. I don't. Just, I don't get that vibe either. I. Th I think you're insecure and you're an asshole and. I, I do like your facial hair, though. <laughs> and that makes out for all your shortcomings. Oh, thank you. Hear that, kids? If you have awesome facial hair, you can do anything. With it, I, there's a documentary on Netflix. If you Mansum? have it. Mansum. I watched it when I was, had the flu a couple couple weeks ago. Oh, my God. My girlfriend was cooking dinner in the, the other room, and I, when I saw that, I freaked the fuck out. I was like, we're fucking watching it. I'm surprised she didn't say something along the lines of, it better not be about beards. <laughs> are you are you riding with me? Yeah. Oh. yeah this is this is this is a team game. Yeah, what's up? Fucking Dukes of Hazzard, that bitch. I'm glad you used the missiles because the machine guns. I love the missiles. The missiles. I feel like. I feel like we should be fighting these things on foot, though, to get more experience this is points. True. We should probably be hitting them, too, with a car. We, got, we are badasses. This is true. We are extreme badasses. Ah, shit! <laughs> Look at that, just wall road. Wall ride right there. You, just, you should have your license for <laughs> Oh my god, there's so many... We missed so many experience points. All right. I'll summon the staff of Jordan now. <laughs> Skags. So this is the first time you see Skags in the game. I I, I really want to go back and play the. Can we play the first one after we're done with this? We can if you want. After we beat the, I'm getting out of here. I'm done with this. I'm over you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna drive off because that's <laughs> what I do. Later, faggot. <laughs> see you. So I like all the experience. Wow, you totally just hatcheted that thing. I know, right? I I thought you were being facetious when you were talking about a hatchet, but no, you literally No, I have a hatchet. That, you dug a hatchet into that. Wow. I told you I'm gonna fucking assassin's creed your ass one of these times. Just whack! You fucking have to put my hey, foot on your shoulder. Guess who had points that I haven't spent yet? That's right. Taylor doesn't pay attention. <laughs> you got like 16 skill points. You've only got nine levels. How's that possible? I'm that lazy. <laughs> if you leave them in uh, there, they have a, it's a higher it's in a high interest account. They just save up. It's the rollover skill points. Mm-hmm. Is this sanctuary? Are we at sanctuary? Yeah, already? we're heading to it right now. Oh my god. Dude, we should have brought the car with us. We may never sleep. No sleep till dun um. What's that? Right now. Oh. So, so you could just edit it in there. I will watch. You should. I have it. I have a lot of Beastie Boys. I think I think music is the best comedic relief. The strategy I use. I, I was gonna do a music episode, but everybody else has done a music episode, and they're all like, I like super hardcore screamo bands, and I put them into my montage. Meh. Montage, yo. I can't, I don't, I don't, uh. My music, my taste in music has really, like, changed over the last couple of years. I, I, dude, I listen to everything. It just depends on what the fuck is going on at the time. Here, I'm gonna redeploy a vehicle. Like, I, I used to absolutely detest country, um, but country is the absolute, like, yin to the yang of pop culture right now. It's what I listen to. I don't know. I don't know what you're, I, I don't know what you're talking about. It's all, oh, it's, it's pop country. I can't stand, I can't stand it. Like, like, uh, like Hank the Third, like old, like, trap. Oh, no, I listen, uh, I listen to, I still listen to Johnny Cash, so... Yeah, that kind of stuff. I thought you were but talking about like Taylor Swift and fucking Mark no, Tim, no, McGrath, no, Tim no, McGrath, Tim McGraw, what the fuck his name is? I didn't say aneurysm country. <laughs> oh fuck, this guy's super powered. I don't even care. I'm just gonna put an Unreal Tournament on his ass. This is so cheap. 
Better back up. He's gonna fuck you up. I'm not stealing his soul. He can't fuck me up while I'm stealing his soul. Now I just took down your shield. Yeah, you did. Okay, this is in retrospect. All right, now I get this. Oh! from him. Stole his soul first. I love shooting those cactuses, but I hate getting hit by those fucking uh, things. The stinger? Yeah, whatever. the stinging cactus. Do not get close to it. It's like a, it's like a human fly zapper. Oh, yeah. It's like, I must go into the light. I guess we probably should have stayed in the vehicle, because I could have gone around all this. So let's go back, I think. The vehicle. The vehicle. Vehicle equals no experience points. Yeah, but we'll still we'll still be alright, don't worry. Alright, I trust you with my life. I trust you with my experience points. <laughs> Plus three, trust and friendship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man. It's IRL RPG right now. You earn Tyler respect. <laughs> it's hard to do, trust me. Yeah, don't worry about it. I am pretty narcissistic. I hate everything. All right, so we're officially out of the car now. Yeah. Staying out of the car? Sure. All right. Because once you get me all, all focused on floating and Unreal Tournament soul stealing. Holy things, shit, but... did you see that jump? Did that come from over there? Dude, that motherfucker jumped all the way from over there where you were, and I was watching him come at me, and then as he was coming down, I started fucking reaming him full of bullets. Which one? Yeah, the bully, one of the bully mongs. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's one of them. It's Batman. I am Batman. They all look the same to me. Is that racist? They all they all look like my 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 pubic my manscaping. <laughs> Neat. Comedy and, reference from earlier. Is, uh, uh, if you watch Mansum, then you saw the thing about um, it, something balls, clean balls. Yeah. Dry balls. Oh, yeah, Corolla talks about putting talcum powder or whatever the fuck on his shit. And... No, the, the, the actual water. There's a... Oh, oh yeah, no, yeah, the dry balls. The guy, the stuff the guy's selling in Vegas. And he's like, gives it to the guy. He's like, go into the bathroom, take like this Fancy sample. balls or something. Yeah, it's like, it's dry balls or some shit. <laughs> nice. just, and the one guy comes back and he's like, Yo, what'd you think of it? He's like, well, it, you know, I really didn't like the greasiness. And I was like, well, that's just probably your taint sweat, bud. <laughs> You know, I didn't like the fact that it caused, like, blitzer, bl blitzers, and it made my pee itch. <laughs> your For pee some itch? You made your pee itch, yeah, when I pee itch, like, my I've, pee itch. I've, <laughs> I've pissed blood for the last seven weeks, and now I have diabetes, and I killed my grandmother. It's got some really gnarly side effects. <laughs> what are we, what are we doing? We're going to save so Corporal long. Reese, or Corporal Reese, Reese, Reese. I Reese. <laughs> Kyle Reese. <laughs> Kyle Reese. Are you Kyle Reese? How many... Do you remember that fucking Sarah Connor Chronicles fucking show that was on Fox? I, I refuse to watch it. I, 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 just, I didn't watch it either, but how many times do you think that kid fucked that robot? <laughs> so, come on. You're gonna tell me that fucking 16-year-old kid never fucked that robot. Uh, I would've. I would have. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna say if the Japanese don't come out with a with a with a lifelike vaginal android that I won't make sweet sweet human on metal love with it. <laughs> as long as it still makes the Asian sounds, you know. Ugh. It's really smart that I talk about these things on the internet to where my sure employer that is gonna be more than likely Japanese can find and see how I diminish his people. Yeah, just like oh. Well... Looks like he's got good skills, and he's, he's very talkative, and he can talk to people. He's good at management. He's good at organizing. What's this internet video? <laughs> well, was I not supposed to fall off here? Mm, probably not. Hot. Well, I did. There's a racker, <laughs> a racker coming for me. I, I, I'm far, far, you far away. You fell all the way back at the beginning of the fucking map. I fell far away Might because well. I was looking, yeah. I was looking at waypoints and you were over here and I'm like a lost puppy and I wanted to find you and you weren't here. I got scared and ran. I got scared and peed myself and now I'm sitting in a puddle of my own urine. <laughs> You're gonna it's gonna take you forever to get back to me. You're gonna I'm gonna probably I die first. Really may not be able to navigate myself to you. 
you should be all right. I'm going to keep going pressing forward, though. So, well, You know, I've spent this whole time following you, and now I have to depend on my own navigational skills, which are horrible. <laughs> Your compass is broken. My GPS tells me to turn left, and I just dig a hole. It's like There's a lot of dudes over here. Dude, I'm coming. I got this. No, it's going to take you forever to get back to me. You better get a vehicle as soon as you can. You should have got a vehicle. In a vehicle. Oh, you are? Okay. I thought you anti-vehicle because you're lack of experience points. Shut up, Tyler. That's what you sound like. I need That's experience not... points. <laughs> my voice. Not even. I can hear my own voice. And it sounds, sounds like the old Spice guy. <laughs> <laughs> look at you right, now. Yeah. Look at me. Look back at yeah, you now. Look at me. Back, back at him. Now look at me. Hey, remember that thing we that's talked about where it was going to take me forever to find you? Yeah. That's probably very, that's a very true statement. I, I was guessing, so. <laughs> Just throwing out an assumption. I think we were... Can you play, can you, can you cue in that like motivational like uh, running song when I find you? Oh yeah, like, uh, or like that's that music where they meet each other on like the beach and they're running towards each other. Yeah. Right now, I'm going to do it right now. That's not the music, but you know, I was just emulating it. <laughs> I'm gonna do Chariots of Fire. Or maybe. Hmm, Beethoven's. No, I'll figure it out. No, I'm afraid I wouldn't do Beethoven any justice. What's the music from, uh, what's that song? The Jump Around song? Jump, jump, <laughs> jump! That dude's white and Irish. I'm sure he did his country proud. All right, so I had a uh, really odd experience the other night at work, and I know you work at a bar, yeah. so you probably have a, a plethora of these stories yourself. Yes. Uh, but we have different job descriptions, you and I. Mm -hmm. A bartender and a bouncer are two totally different things, although a bartender ended up being a bouncer from time to time. <laughs> it does happen every once in a while. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, the suicide oh, guy got you. Oh, fuck. The Ala Agla Bar. Help me. I'm trying. It's not reviving. There it goes. He was an extremist. I won't tell anyone. He was. Give me your soul. Yeah, he was an extremist. Anyway, so this weekend, I, I was kind of, I was working the floor. I was working the room. Yeah. I walking around, checking on my guys, making sure they didn't have to piss because you, they stand stationary forever. You were, you were Patrick Swayze in the situation? I was. I am Patrick Swayze. I uh, totally embrace the stereotype of Roadhouse because that is what I do. <laughs> Except I'm not very good at spin kicking people. I've been working on it. But, I got to uh, pull some practice. Coach, my, my instructor said it would be, you know, just take some time. But I got. I bought my gi, so hopefully it's a good investment. And <laughs> I have windswept hair, and I live in a barn, so we're 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 making strides. So I'm checking on my I'm checking on one of my boys and. Uh, you know, making sure everything's all right. And there's this girl that comes up to me, and she seems very angry. And she's a she's a small little thing, and she's she's trying to talk to me in in the deaf voice talk. You know what I'm talking about? Like people are deaf and they try to speak to you, um, yeah. but she she the problem was she wasn't deaf. There's no way. There's no way in that dark room with all the loud bass that she was able to read my lips with such accuracy um, yeah. but she had a deaf voice and she spoke to me for a solid five minutes and all I pulled out of the conversation was she was looking for her boyfriend whom she thought she was cheating on him cheating on her um, and then when she found him she was gonna make him pay uh, so I was really scared and while she was saying all this, she started to take off all our clothes, and which I didn't think there was going to be an end to. I was pretty <laughs> sure she was going to go all the way to the buff, like as she thought that was going to be intimidating. Uh, so I leaned over to her, and I was I was like, well, listen, sweetie, because I call everybody sweetie, regardless of your weight. Uh, I was like, listen. <laughs> regardless of uh, your weight. I, I will help you. Like, I'm here to help you. That's my job. I'll help you. Um, but you got to calm down. I got to know that if we find who you're looking for, you're not going to go Vista Cuffs with them and start pulling hair on people. Yeah. And she goes, okay, okay. 
Uh, and then she goes, I sure, I do sure. you have a girlfriend in the deaf voice? That's my deaf impression. She goes, do you have a girlfriend? I was like, yes, yes, happily, I might have had. Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, it's obviously, you were having issues in the department, but uh, I'm not. And she's, she's like, oh. And I swear to God, this is what came out of her mouth. Now, it might have been me, like, messing up the deaf voice with all the noise, but I'm pretty sure she said... If you got a cock, I can handle a cock. <laughs> uh, like, if that's not me paraphrasing, that's verbatim in quotations. If you have a cock, I can handle a cock. Now, I want you to say that back to yourself in your head using a deaf girl voice and see if it's any funnier. I can do it better. I can do the impression for you and make it just... <laughs> if you have a cock, I can handle a cock. <laughs> Oh, God. It was just like that. It was like reliving the moment. I just, we just lost all our deaf listeners, our deaf viewers. It's all right. It's all right. I got to cross a minority group off every time I make a video. <laughs> next week, it's so, a next, next week, it's Swedish. I, I lost my Mex Asian lesbian group the other day. So. How'd you do that? Uh, the game I made with the peacekeepers. Oh, I don't yeah, know if yeah. that's a rock or a term that. that offended all Asians, Mexicans, and lesbians all together on comment. <laughs> so, so, this is not in my bed. I lost a subscriber, so there was one in there. <laughs> yeah, I, I keep track of these this things, is totally. To the last so, oh, we got the general. I was like, why the fuck were we over there? And I realized we had to get, like, the power cores. Don't ask me. I, have to, I float and heal. <laughs> and I, float, heal, I, Try to follow. I hope someone sees me from your perspective and is convinced that I'm doing something because I'm not really. I'm more, the mic's picking up a lot of noise when you're talking, so I'm wondering what the hell it's picking up. Picking up noise on my end? No, well, I don't know. The bars keeps like bouncing whenever you're talking, also. But I don't know what that could be because I've I have everything turned off and the volume, my microphones, like my headphones are plugged in. See, I have a permanent ringing in my ears, but that's just because I'm having a slow aneurysm that'll <laughs> kill me anytime. So I have a, you know, I'm kind of biased as far as it comes to noise contamination because my noise is always contaminated. Literally sounds like a fucking German. Dude, have you turned there. around and see what's chasing us yet? Uh, no. Jesus I Christ. <laughs> I turned around, I just see us running, and it's just like there's so much behind us. Me running my cocksucker, not worried about it. <laughs> yeah, one time I was five. This is holy shit, pubic monsters. <laughs> Are you fighting these things with me? Or am I... I'm in spirit. <laughs> More or less from a distance. <laughs> I'm with you in spirit. I got the rack kind of coming after me halfway. I need to, to catch up to your experience points anyway. I'm kind of out of ammo though, which poises a problem. Well, run to me. I'm I'm backstepping to you, which is not. Oh yeah. What are you doing? Why are you dying? I'm dead. I'm dead. Dead is what I'm doing. I'm trying to make it to you. Hold on. Oh you uh, Oh you're right. Oh my god. Stan. 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 Take this. We can't. Can't trust this. How do you how do you hand stuff to other players? <laughs> Why do I even listen to your commentaries? It's just you two talking about South Park and Bar stories. <laughs> if I can if I have a cock, I can handle a cock. What an immature statement. I know I can handle a cock because I I I drink champagne slushy. <laughs> uh, we used to have vodka slushies when we were in high school. The best thing ever. Uh, I I have a very biased outlook on drinking because the last time I drank I was 13 Jesus so, yeah and I, I my brother used to play this fun game when he was in college that was called look how much I can get my 12 year old brother drunk <laughs> <laughs> it was like showing off my alcohol tolerance would get him poon you know I almost spit up all my beer uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, it's so oh. fucking hot. Your 12-year brother can drink that much. Oh, look at him. He's throwing up in the corner. It's so fucking hot. It's fucking right here. I want you to remember this pussy while I fucking think about it. <laughs> so that was a fun game that we played, uh, which he always won and I always lost, and I wasn't even playing, so imagine that. And I, 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 thought I don't have very, I don't have very fond memories of it, really. Um, actually, you know, fuck that. I do, uh, because I was, th that was drinking when drinking was fun. Yeah. Until these fucking college hipsters ruined it. Yeah, because it, it wasn't, it wasn't get drunk and make an ass of yourself, and it, it wasn't. Well, it was. It was totally get drunk and make an ass of yourself. <laughs> But it wasn't totally get drunk and make an ass of yourself in a douchebag. It was make an ass of yourself in an epic, awesome way. Yeah. It was where everybody else is like, like you either oh, got you got a nickname out of it, or that's I mean that's the story you tell for like the rest of your life. Right. Right. It's not oh I played beer pong and I had this beer pong shirt with this beer pong hat, this beer pong oven. I just looked like a fucking retard. Yeah. It was let's waste it and drive jump out of a third grade window into a bush. <laughs> I have a story, like a friend who jumped off a roof drunk, broke both his ankles, and we didn't go to the hospital till the morning. Oh, fuck that. Fuck that. If, if going to the hospital at all was ever an option. <laughs> we didn't we go. Didn't... Well, we didn't take him. He fucking, he had somebody come pick him up because he was in so much pain. <laughs> he, he walked on his stumps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I heard his ankle snap, and I was like, oh, shit. Like, you have, you're done. That's it. You just ruined this whole party. <laughs> That's it. Ah, uh, keep partying, man. I was like, you'll be fine. Just go lay down. He's just like, my ankles really hurt. Just walk it off. Not literally, figuratively. Oh, crap. Ah, scooter. <laughs>